This video runs through the Profitable Plan spreadsheet, which is a template to help you work out whether your products, services, goods that you're selling are profitable or not, and whether they will cover the overheads, the fixed costs, the loan repayments, the owner's pay, and the tax that you need to pay for your business. So I'm going to share my screen. So this is the profitable plan template that you can use to work out whether your business is going to make money or not. So this is a future projection rather than a backwards projection, which your accountants might do. So to work through the profitable plan template, I'm going to run through each sheet. So there's four sheets down the bottom. Your profit plan, you can put the date in so you know what date you've started this plan and you can come back to it and monitor and adjust it whenever you need to. So I've got a little bit of a mission and vision up here and also what do you want to achieve. And it's just doing this before you go into a spreadsheet, it really gives you that understanding of why are you here and what do you want to do with your business right now. So your mission might be to help the lovely people of the world by creating whatever or by giving them X amount of products that will help solve their problem. And then the what do you want to achieve with it is around um, what it is that you want to do with the profits. So running through in your workbook, when we get to the profitability side of things, we want to make sure that your business is making a profit so that you can then align it with your business and your personal goals. Okay, so to fill out this spreadsheet in the yellow section here on the summary page, all we need to type in is what type of goods and services that you are providing. Now, if you're a business that has a lot of stock or a lot of different products, then group together anything that might have similar variable costs. That is, variable costs are the things that go up. The more you sell, the more you pay for. Um, so group as many together as you can to make it easy for you. Now, this spreadsheet is a guide. It's not supposed to be something that's holus bolus down to the dollar. It's, um, it's a projection tool. Um, so use it as a projection tool to see if you're going to make money for your business. What you can do in here where we've got goods one, two, product one, service two, is really get down to naming them. So I'm going to be an accountant here and write in widgets. <laughs> so your widgets, based on these information here, they'll all come through from next lot of pages. Let's go through. So you're putting all your names in here in the yellow. And we're going to go to the income page. So of all of your products that you have, so that name has come through from the summary page, we're going to put into this window here how much your price of that product or that service is excluding GST. So the GST gets worked out separately. So it might be $50 for a widget and let's say $25 for that one and $56 for that one and $80, $800 for that one, whatever. And along here, so there's the pricing in the yellow, in the green is the number of sales that you want to make for each month. So you can build it up slowly, one, two, five, 10, 15. December might be really quiet or it might be bigger. In January, everyone's on holidays, so it might be five. And then you can see as we're scrolling through, as I'm adjusting these figures here, it's also adjusting down in the the dollar program. So it's working out if my selling price is $50 times it by the number of sales, that is my income projection for that particular month. So it gives you a little bit of an understanding around if you are going to sell this many things or this many services or this many goods or products um, in each month, then this is how much money you're going to make. So it can really help you work out whether your marketing's on right, whether your tra uh, whether your seasonal business, whether you've got lots of sales in one month and not many in another, it can help you forecast where your money's coming in. So that's the income page. And you can see here we've got a total of each month 
um, where the money's coming in. We've got our variable costs page. So our variable costs are the things that vary when you're purchasing, when you're selling. So every time you sell a widget, for example, you can work out how much per hour it costs you to work on that and create that widget to sell. There could be a price per service. So for example, a license fee or a set price per dollar for selling a particular widget or a group of widgets and the cost of materials. So there might be something that you are specifically paying for for a particular widget. So in this example, I'm going to say it's going to be half an hour to create a widget to sell at $100 per hour. So this is at $100 per hour up here. Um, and then every time we, I'm going to take widgets out of this one, I'm going to put service in here. So every time we sell a service to, then we have to pay a license fee of, of $20. So you can see that these are, are working through. And then for the widgets, it's also a cost of, um, I might say $5. So $5 for every we sell of the widgets. So it, costs, it takes us half an hour and $5 to um, get this widget ready for sale. Now, it brings through the products sold from the income page based on the, the um, time frames that you've put in the number of sales per month, and it works out those costs accordingly. So your cost of your staff, your cost of your materials, um, cost of hire, per person, whatever. Um, so it gives you an annual cost for each particular product. And we're going to work through our fixed costs. So our fixed costs are those things that don't generally change much based on what you're selling. So you could sell two things or you could sell 200 things and your fixed costs are generally the same amount. So if you think to your telephone bill, whether you make a phone call, one phone call or 10 phone calls, the phone bill is generally going to stay the same. So these are our fixed costs. So we want to break them down so you can see exactly where your money is going in this estimate or profitable plan template. So you're, you've got rent, um, communications and utilities, so phone, internet, power, if you've got to pay power for your business, um, software and subscription costs, advertising, insurances, vehicle, all of those sorts of things. So if it relates to your business, then you can put it in here. Yet again, we're not going to the nitty gritty that your profit and loss statement might be in, but it will be enough to help you make a decision around whether your business will make money or not. So I'm going to drop our advertising down a little bit. Insurances are fine where they are. Training. I might change that to $70 a month. Um, so we can change all of these. You can either type it into the monthly figure and it'll work out an annual figure. Or if you've got something that's annual, you can just type in that annual straight up and it'll calculate through. Next one down is your investment and capital requirements. So is there anything you're looking to buy over the next month, a year that will help you move your business forward? So it might be a new vehicle or a piece of equipment or some software that will help you be more efficient at your work. So if you've got something in mind that you want to invest in, put the description in, in the yellow and how much does it cost, whether it's a monthly cost or an annual cost. And then from there, we also want to look at how much you're going to pay yourself. So your owner requirements. So what's your net pay? How much money do you want to be paid into your bank account as a minimum for you to survive? So your business should be paying you something and it should be um, based on what you could earn from working for somebody else. So by putting in here your what you want to be paid out of the business, we can then run through and adjust some of the figures if we need to, to make sure that the business has enough money to pay you. Um, and it, by working through each of the pages, the income page, the variable cost page, and this fixed costs page, we can come up with that summary of how your business is going to run and make those small tweaks to see what those adjustments are. 
And if your business has loans already, then you need to factor in the fact that you're paying loan repayments. So right in here in the yellow section, who you're paying, and then whether you're paying monthly or annual repayments. And then your taxes column um, is all around how much money you need to hold aside for tax. So I've got a lot of asterisks on here because we may need to do some calculations based on what type of business you are. So income tax, if you're a sole trader, is different to a company, different to a trust, different to a partnership. Um, GST is worked out automatically based on your sales. And pay as you go withholding and super, this is your super and wages tax for not only your owner, but also for your staff as well. So I've got a spot up here for staff wages. So you can put both lots of taxes in here. So we may need to do a separate um, calculation for wages tax if you don't already know what that is. But if you do know what it is, type it in because it will filter through. So once you've filled in as much of the spreadsheet as you can in first in the last three pages, so the income page, putting in the prices and how much you're going to sell, in the variable costs, how much per hour, how much per service, and how much per um, line item. And then in your fixed costs, what those costs are going to be, then we can come back to the summary page. Now the summary page then summarizes what your total sales are going to be for the year what your variable costs are, and then if you're making any gross profit. Now we can see on this line item here, our variable costs are more than our sales are going to be. So that's never a good position to be in. So we've got to sell some more or reduce those costs somehow. So the cost per line item, so $5 per sale and half an hour per um, service we may be able to reduce those down a little bit I think the issue is coming from our selling price in this situation so we're going to bump that up to $75 and then when we run through our summary page we're now at least making enough sales to cover the variable costs if not any of the other costs down below so this is where you've got an opportunity to click and play and make sure that your business is covering its own costs and you're charging the right amount now, the right amount may be different to what other people are, are charging, and that's absolutely fine. This is a, your business. From here, we can see we're making $24,000 worth of sales. We've got $10,000 worth of costs, so we're making $13,000. This $13,000 has to cover everything else that we're spending in the business. So we want to spend $72,000 on owner's pay. That doesn't sound right. $10,000 on overheads and $22,000 on taxes. So this model, this particular business model will not work as it stands because the numbers just don't stack up. You can't pay yourself a payroll of $72,000 if you're only making thirteen. dollars Now, do you see what I said there? You're making thirteen. dollars You're not making $24,000 because you've already had to pay out the 10 to make initial 24. So our gross profit, our $13,000 is what we're making that we have to cover all of the costs. So then some things need to be changed here. So I'm going to quickly run through and make this a $750 product. We're going to sell a few more. So we're going to sell 20 of these and 50 and 50 in January as well. Bump that up for May and June. So we've now increased our income significantly. Our costs remain the same for those line items. Our fixed costs have remained the same. So by charging and selling more, challenge charging more and selling more, we've made a whole load more sales or so a whole load more profit. You see our costs went up depending on what how much we sold. Um, so now we can afford to pay ourselves a wage, we can afford to pay our overheads, we can afford to pay our taxes. So it's really important to make sure that your business does make money and it can cover its own costs and it can pay you for the work that you do. And by doing this exercise, you might find which line items that you're selling that you really want to focus on because they do make really good profit. And those things that you probably might want to stop 
pricing as an advertising tool. So product one here, you're selling $560 worth, but it costs you $500. You might want to change the pricing on that, or you might just offer it as a service and not um, market it directly. So please let me know if there is any feedback on this. The formulas I've checked a couple of times and they should be okay. If you need any further assistance with it or you want to run through it with me, please let me know. Now, this spreadsheet, the profitable plan template is available for you to use and update and change however you like. But as normal, we don't like to share these resources with the general community. So this is just for you as a member in the Profit Matters membership. If you do have any questions or need any changes, want any feedback to it to make it better for next time, then please let me know. Thank you.